my husband caught a pigeon and it's got a little band on its leg she's sweet though i was just playing with her i was showing her this marble and i was saying look it rose watch her though she likes watching it <laughs> you see that what is it what have i got there what is that huh look over there see it's your marble what do you think about that? Uh-oh. Dropped it in her food. We just so happen to have some uh, bird seed to feed the birds. And we got some crazy plants growing around here because of it. Like, I had this thing full of seeds for the squirrels and birds. And then this thing just shot up right out of it. And I don't even know what it is. And then, like, every now and then something weird will pop up, like, right here. Some kind of either cucumber or something is growing right here <laughs> from those seeds. Don't have a clue what this thing is. I uh, didn't plant these morning glories, but they're growing there. And of course, that's some uh, lamb's quarters we got right there. Got some begonias. Got some spider plants. More, um, what do you call them, morning glories? I've always wanted to grow flowers around my um thingies like that and it's now happening what do you call these not pillars you know the things are on the porch i've always wanted to do that and look at this i've got some growing here and i just put this pole here and i'm hoping they'll grow up that and i've got some really nice ones growing over here um they've yet to wrap around that stick it's probably not strong enough i just put it there though but they're wrapping around the, the iron here I think that's neat. Look at these ones, how good they're doing. Look at that. They're growing right around it like I want them to. It's going to be pretty when those flowers come out. You know what? I also got a begonia down in here that it was dying, and I thought, okay, I'll put it in some water, and I did, and then now look what happened. It's dying again. Darn it. It's these um, morning glories are taking over. I've got some purslane growing here. I'm so proud of this because I got a big one like this in the back. Um, I didn't plant it. It probably came from those seeds. There's some more right here. Look, there's onions, everything in here. Um, I've got some uh, baby ones, and they look like butterflies when they're babies. I think that's neat. When they're little seedlings, they, they come out and they look like butterflies. I love it. And I got these that my son gave me, and they're just not doing too well. They were real bright yellow. I think I just need to go ahead and plant them now because they're still in the thing. I need to plant them in the ground, so maybe they'll come back next year. And last but not least, I love how my husband did this. They're all, um, you know, you call them succulents. This one's a money tree. I think they're so nice how he put the rocks in there with them like that. I think they're so cute. I love this thing. So anyways, um, I didn't realize I was a plant lady until, look at this thing. My son got me this. This is so cool how it twists like that. I love it. Anyways, I didn't realize I was a plant lady until um, my son's ex-girlfriend said, you are a plant lady. Look at you, you got all these plants. And I thought, you know what? She just happens to be right. I better start taking better care of them. And, they got me this one for Valentine's Day and had flowers on it. These things have been doing really well. I can't believe it. One thing I've noticed with these, though, being outside, just water them a little bit every day, you know. And I've been keeping rainwater in these little things. I'll, I'll go to where the little thing is next to the house there, and I'll collect the rainwater. I'm not very articulate, as you can tell. We've got other plants in here as well. It's just that the, um, the morning glories are just taking over now. I, my son got me those too. I love those. They've been blooming the whole time I've had them. They're called um, Dwarf Scarlet. And I'm telling you what, the whole time I've owned this, it's had blooms on it. I've never been a day without a bloom. I think this is catnip, but I think I watered it and, and then the sun. You know what I mean? you got to water it and then make sure the leaves are dry afterwards because you don't want to leave the water on it. It'll burn them. I think that's what I did, and I felt bad about it because it, 
I've been wanting this thing to grow for a long time. I think it is catnip. I'm not exactly 100% sure though. When I first got this, it just started dying like crazy, but then I started watering it every day and now it's growing. Of course, there's more morning glories in there. See the baby butterfly ones? I have no idea what that is. I think that came from the uh, seeds, like I said. But anyways, back to the birdie. I think it's a female. I think hers a female, and I think she's a sweetheart, aren't you, pretty girl? Yes, you are. Soft eyes. Soft eyes. Yes. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet tea. Yes, you are. And they drink by suction. I didn't know that. Oh, I should probably change your water, huh? Get you some fresh wawa. You want fresh wawa? Okay.